welcome back to another video. So this is going to be I think part four. First video was just a look around the car. Second video number two, that was um, getting it started up. So I managed to start it. Had a problem with the alternator. It wasn't turning, so it's dragging on the belt. Part three, we got the car running. Um, it was running, but it was running badly. So we're going to sort those issues out today, getting the engine running as good as we can. Um, so we'll crack on with that. Um, but first thing we're going to do is because in the last video we put a new alternator on. Uh, had an alternator light on the dash, and when I reviewed the clip, you can see some smoke coming off. I don't know whether it burned the alternator out. Or alternator out whether that was just a coating from storage or what. It was a used alternator. Uh, so we're going to look into that. We have fixed the old alternator. Um, we freed it all up. It works. Works good enough for our purposes, I believe. So if all those fails, we just put the old one back on. Got a big hammer, T-wax, turned it, and it's, it, it's working. So we'll look into the alternator first and then go from there. Uh, maybe we can get the brakes freed off because they're seized on. Uh, we can start moving it around. Uh, and we'll go from there. Cheers guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and let's get into this video. So we're going to start with this connected battery. Take our brand new multi meter. Twelve eight eight. Twelve eight. Anything above twelve six is good. Check it again, now it's connected to the car. Yep, it's the same, 12 8, 8, 12 8, 7. Connected the battery up. I up might be to the battery. I'm gonna do a drop down test. Seem to stay above 10 and we're up to about 15, just over 15. Okay, so uh, that seems that seems good. Change the math. Thank you. 
Alright, let's see if it helps with the running. Another drop down test.
brakes, going for the gas gear. Maybe we can pull her out and have a look at the bodywork. She's a Ford. Now, if you can see those pipes stick out, you can see the white one. The one next to the white one is, there's a cap missing. The end has come off. So, we'll bung that and that sorts our vacuum leaks. These will be the source of your vacuum leaks. You've got a pipe there. You have the intake pipe. You can see it goes up there. Uh, yeah, always check these pipes on the back for vacuum leaks. We'll get it on, I'll show you. All right, there we go, it's on. So that is our temporary backslash permanent fix. See if we can get all the pipes back on. Might need a little bit of eyes. Get that one on. And this one. How we're looking, we have one over here, one, two, three, four, and that blank. So. Right, the brakes, a bar on here should move. I'm done, let's get them cut off. This is our setup, it's got a clamp and we're going to try and wind that in, put some WD-40 in there, soften it up, wind that in, free the brakes off. Uh, just for now, got the pistons wound back in, I'll do this for now, hopefully they'll free up a bit. But you can move the car around now. That's a lot better, we can at least move the car around. not seized. They're actually pretty good but I have noticed they're snapped stuff. But we'll clean up the disc anyway. The passenger side disc clean up now. They're not standard springs. Let's get some WD. 
Ja, ja, ne. Nothing looks particularly awful. Looks like it was fairly well maintained. The rears are turning, they're a little stiff, so hopefully they'll free up once we uh, take her for a first drive. But there's a little bit of damage around the back. Um, as you just saw, got another set of wheels, original wheels. Well, two of them, anyway. Um, so yeah, all looking good so far. Maybe two mil. Maybe just over two mil tread.
So we've fixed two vacuum leaks so far. Got them moving under our own power. Still lots of jobs to do on the brakes. I'll feed them off for now. Um, as you just heard, turned it off, and you can still hear a, sh sh a sucking noise. Uh, so there's probably another vacuum leak somewhere we've got to find. And there seems to be like a rattle or a vibration. It could be a pulley, it could be the damper. But we'll further investigate that another time. But for now, I've always think we're going to leave it here. We've got her moving under her own power. She runs, she runs pretty good, and she's moving under her own power. So, I think next time we get her up in the air, we get her up and we'll walk it underneath it and uh, see what's going on. Cheers guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and there is a competition to win about £100 worth of tools uh, so like, subscribe, comment